Hello, today we're going to be taking a look and demoing Thrive Themes, more specifically within Thrive Themes, a uh, product known as Thrive Quiz Builder. Now, if you want to know more information about Thrive Themes as a whole and what that entails, be sure to check out the video down below uh, for more information. But Thrive Themes, it's a, it's a package of really great WordPress plugins and, and theme builders. Um, but if you remember, you get access to a lot of their stuff like Thrive Quiz Builder, which allows you to build fully customizable quizzes that allow you to get more um, insight and viewers. You can build things like an email list through this. You can drive website traffic and engagement and get tons of social shares through Twitter or Facebook, etc. And you can build really beautiful, really engaging quizzes for your website. It's really great content. So if you're interested in Thrive Quiz Builder, it's a part of Thrive Themes, let's go ahead and take a demo into what's possible. So with Thrive Quiz Builder here, you can see it's a simple WordPress plugin that you can install. Um, if you're using WordPress.com, you can get it as long as you're on the business or pro plan um, there. Um, and it's a really great plugin, really lightweight, like a lot of Thrive Themes, what they offer here. You can see it just shows in the left-hand corner here um, their plugins once you install them. Um, really light, lightweight on your actual WordPress blog. I'm running mine on my self-hosted one, and it runs flawlessly. Um, you can see here on the Thrive dashboard, I have the option to see my quizzes and the reports or results of them here. Um, in this case, I have sample quizzes I just built out for the purpose of this video. Um, and then I have the ability to add a new one. And let's go ahead and do that, just to kind of show you how easy it is to build out quizzes here with the Thrive Quiz Builder. Now, when it comes to building out a quiz, the first question you need to ask yourself is what type of quiz template are you building? Are you building something that is going to be geared towards you gaining lists building, which means you're gaining emails for people to hopefully opt in and, and potentially get more content or maybe, you know, promote them your product later on? Are you looking to generate social shares, you know, gain a kind of viral quiz and have people share it out through Facebook and Twitter and so on? Um, I personally prefer just to build it from scratch. This allows you to kind of really go either which way and really make it your own. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this just, you know, quiz sample here. Um, and we'll hit continue. And then from here, it's going to walk you through building out your quiz. Four simple steps here. Um, and I say simple, but honestly, from simple, you can make it really advanced. You can really just make the quiz however you want. It depends on your preferences. Um, choose type. So the type is the evaluation type. How does your quiz, how or how will your quiz be scored? Is it going to be scored on a number scale? So five questions, let's say they're all worth five points. Um, you know, tw out of 25, how many you know, can a person score percentage, uh, same concept if it's a five or if it's a six questions and people get three right, that's 50% category. That's more similar to like something like a personality test. So the cool thing about category is it has multiple number of results depending on the questions they ask. Um, and you can really kind of, you know, divide that up however you want to do it. Right or wrong, this just basically will give you live feedback whether or not the question is right or wrong as soon as you answer the question. Um, so you know right away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a number one just because it's a, a simple one here um, just to walk you through how you build it out. Second would be the quiz style. This allows you to choose your templates here and this shows you what multiple pages look like within that template. So maybe you just want a simple quiz. Well, this is what the quiz page is going to look like on these templates, a Q&A page. Um, but some people want to kind of take that and expand upon that. They want a splash page. A splash page is the page that is going to be shown before the quiz. Um, it could be like, you know, how much do you really know about Star Wars or how much do you know about Apple? Um, test your math skills and, and you can kind of put, you know, all sorts of description into that. Um, make it eye catching. Um, that's a splash page. The opt in gate is again when we talked about gathering that email list. So you can say, like, great job. If you want to know more, if you want to learn more about this subject, be sure to opt in. Or, of course, last but not least, the results page. Again, a lot of these are optional. I'm just going to go with this style right here. Um, you can choose, again, another optional um, feature is to create a customizable image that will lead to more shares. So again, it can just be like, you know, really great job. It can be a funny cartoon or picture that people can share out and hopefully more people will share it based off of that. Now from here, you would define your questions and answers. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to add a question. You can do it with multiple choice with buttons or multiple choice with images, depending on the type of question you're structuring. I'm just going to do like a simple math question here. So I'll say the question text. I'll go down here to the answer. I'll put the correct answer, which is eight. Um, I'll put a new answer. You can put multiple options here. I'll say three, I'll say five or six, I guess in this case, seven. Now these are obviously not the right answer. So I can go ahead and choose that point value and reduce those to zero. You can set up the point structure however you want. You can rearrange the questions however you want. It's all drag and drop, very easy, very simple. Um, it all just depends on your preference. 
Um, as you build out your quiz, you'll be taken to what's known as the kind of navigator or the kind of quiz builder layout. Um, this will show you all of your questions on the right. Um, and you can add more. So I can add another one here. And let's just do another math one. One plus one here. Um, you know, pretty hard stuff. So we'll do one plus one, four, and five. Um, and that is our quiz, our very basic quiz. But you'll see I have the questions laid out here. And now I can start connecting the dots. So here's question one. I want to make this question two. I literally just connect the dots. That's now question two. It shows me here in my um, layout. It also shows me here visually. But the cool thing about this is you can really kind of break this up. So let's say, for example, a category quiz, like a personality test or something to that effect. You can divide the way the quiz or you can change the way the quiz kind of um, reacts depending on how they answer. So you can say like, you know, if they answer this, then I'll ask them another question. If they answer this, I'll ask them another question. Um, you know, you can kind of steer them the way they, they go based off of the answers they put in. And that allows the, the quiz not to be the same. It allows it to be a bit more interactive and kind of more challenging based off of people's answers. Um, you, so you can just really kind of design that as advanced as you want. Um, and then from there, the quiz start page is your, your um, opt-in, or not your opt-in, but your splash page. So you can kind of just create the layout, save it, exit. Um, and last but not least, you assign a results page and you'll be good to go. Now the results page is also built with this thing known as Thrive Architect. All of those templates I showed you earlier, your, your splash page, your opt-in page, and again, your results page, can all be edited through what's known as Thrive Architect, their WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get editor here. You can literally edit everything here. So it's really simple, really easy. Everything is editable through Thrive Architect, which is a part of Thrive Themes. And that's the cool thing about it. You have all these things that you can add in and really make it your own. You can move things around. You can adjust the text size. You can just make it your own here. And once you're done, you simply save the template and you'll be good to go. And your quiz is built out just like that. So I'll go back to my quiz here and that is it. I have my questions. I have my you know basic style and setup. And now I have this short code that I can take here and I can copy it. I have a little page that I built out here. And I can just paste this short code anywhere. I can paste it on a page. I can paste it on a WordPress post. I'll go ahead and preview that page now. And all of my um, quizzes that I built out earlier will now be presented here. So I now have all my quizzes set up here on this test page. You can see the one I just built. 4 plus 4 is 8. 1 plus 1 is 2. Awesome job. I got 2 out of 2. And a couple other ones I built out here. Just again, to show you... Uh, how different ones look. Here's a percentage one. You can see kind of how the styles look like. Here's one I built out that's really, really simple. And, and again, where you get more advanced with this is the categories one. So this one was an introvert extrovert one. And it basically would have multiple, the idea would be you'd have multiple questions that would lead to a result. Um, in this case, the simple question, do you prefer to stay in or go out? I'll say, you know, I prefer to stay in. My current result is introvert. Um, but I can get more detailed results if I input my name and my email and sign up for the mailing list. And that's where you can kind of use things like this. You can use these kind of list um, quizzes to generate more lead-ins and to generate more interaction on your website. It's a really, really cool idea. Um, another one here, you can see who makes this product here. I actually put the wrong answer, I think, on this quiz. But I, it is Amazon, but I think I put Apple, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a live feedback, so this is the right or wrong answer. So you can see Apple is is not the actual right answer, but I just accidentally did that in the quiz. And then I have these social share buttons that I made afterwards. And if you want the social share badge, you can create that. Um, another one here, who is Apple's most famous founder or CEO? Put Steve Jobs, Apple Watch. This is just a number of results. And there you have it. These are just multiple quizzes, very, very basic ideas of what you can do within a post. Obviously, you can expand upon this with all those optional things I talked about. I can choose to add a splash page. I can choose to add an opt-in gate. And then I can go ahead and manage those with Thrive Architect and, and, and build those out as well. So I can choose to, you know, if I want a splash page, I can go ahead and create one of those. Um, that's the cool thing with Thrive Quiz Builder. You really do get to make it your own. Um, and, and with that, interacting with all the other tools like Thrive Architect, you can really build out the style of it. Um, another cool feature within this, with the opt-in page, with the results page, um, with splash page, you have A-B testing available. So you can make multiple splash pages. You can make multiple result pages. And you can kind of test them out against each other. So different users will get different ones. And what that will do is I'll show you which ones are getting more impressions, which one at the end of the day, after they take a, you know, a five-question quiz, um, which one 
would sh result page is, is getting them to share out more, share to Twitter, share to Facebook. Which one's more creative or more, you know, um, sociable? And that's a cool thing about A-B testing. So you can go ahead and do that as well, depending on how you want to set that up. Um, but outside of that, you have the, again, the you can get the full reports, you can get more detailed reports, you can go ahead and, you know, see how a lot of different quizzes are doing on your page. And again, that's a really great aspect as well. You get to track the statistics, you get to track how everything's doing, and compare it and contrast it, and then of course build better quizzes because of that. So that all said, if you're interested in Thrive Quiz Builder, be sure to check out the uh, information down below. You can do a one-time fee uh, for your website starting at $67, expanding up depending on the licenses you need. However, if you're interested in becoming a Thrive Themes member, um, that's uh, something that will get you access to a lot of these different products. So we talked about, again, Thrive Quiz Builder today, but you have access to a lot of different products that Thrive Themes offers. So you can see you have things like Thrive Leads, Thrive Architect, which we talked about as that WYSIWYG editor. And you can get all of those products for a one-time membership, or actually, I should say a reoccurring membership fee. Um, and that just starts at, I believe, $19 a month. Yeah, $19 a month paid annually. And then you can choose to you know, expand those options. Um, but that gets you all of the plugins, all of the themes uh, across um, your websites there. So that's definitely something worth checking into. If you're interested in that, be sure to check out the links down below. And again, these can be installed on your WordPress self-hosted blog. These can be installed on um, a WordPress business or pro account. Um, so if you have one of those on the actual just WordPress.com, that can be installed on that as well. Um, completely lightweight, doesn't slow down your experience, makes it very, very seamless and easy. It's really, really great tools to invest in. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video on Thrive Quiz Builder and again, overall Thrive themes. For all the information, check out the links down below. As always, your purchases are backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So check out all the information again down below. And thanks for watching.